Hey everybody, I'm Mrs. Meat Magazine. Subscribe, thumbs up, and comment below. I'm gonna prove to y'all in this video that Jaguar right, or as I like to call it, Jaguar wrong, ain't sugar honey iced tea. Tasha K did an interview with her, and the video was titled Exclusive Jaguar Wright opens up about her mental health, finances, marriage, childhood, and more. And it was posted earlier on October 23rd of 2020. Let me tell you something right now. Click the thumbs up button, thumbs up, subscribe, choose all notifications, and post a comment below. Say hi right now. If I don't get thumbs up and I don't get comments, I can't make this video for you guys. So you got to do it. Number one, the devil was in the details, okay? And Jaguar Wright has said that her and her man meant each other. And within three days, he moved in. Number two, they got married after 21 days. Was that a financial decision or was it really because they were in love? And if he moved in within three days, where did he move into if they're homeless? And I think they may have allegedly possibly maybe been living in her car prior to them living in the hotel. Remember when her card had declined recently? She went to go buy herself some chicken McNuggets or something. And then the card was like <laughs> declined. And then she was like, oh, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, so she was on live at the time. She was like, you know, uh, yeah, they'll cut your card off for this, that, and the half of if you need help, just ask for it. You know what I mean? Just ask us for donations. Start a podcast. Put out some music. Tell us to share it on social media, the link to it. And that way we can go stream it and buy it or whatever. You know what I mean? But stop fronting for the gram. Stop fronting for the tube. Stop fronting, period. Okay? Helpful. If you need help, say it. Dang. But anyway, so the helpful. Not only did they get married after 21 days Moved in together in three days. I don't know if she meant moving into her car or she had a place at the time or what's going on with that. But another thing that they said was that they were working on making a child together. This is a 43-year-old woman who's living in a hotel and is allegedly trying to basically evade people. And basically, it's like they're on the run like Bonnie and Clyde. Like, did they allegedly stick somebody up or something? Because why are y'all on the run? Seriously, what's the real reason? No, but allegedly they're on the run because people want to get at her. So people want to harm you. You're homeless and living in a hotel. Your card is declining. You barely know this man. You will have known him two years in January of 2021. So you met him in January of 2019. Y'all got married after knowing each other for three dang weeks and moved in within three days. Nothing about this whole scenario sounds off to anybody but me. Seriously, people, a homeless woman who people are trying to come after, allegedly, is also working on a ch making a child with this sorry simp. I mean, with this incredible and loving man who has no job, allegedly, I mean, who works as her security even though when Tasha asked what the man's occupation was, he said self-employed. Self-employed is not an occupation. Self-employed is not even a field. You could be self-employed and be a YouTuber. You could be self-employed and cut grass for a living. You could be self-employed and be a babysitter. You could be self-employed and be standing out on the street with a bucket of Windex squeegeeing the bird poop off of somebody's car window. The self-employed could mean anything. In other words, they're not fooling me one minute. They're answering the questions flat out at the beginning of the interview. And then when she started asking those tougher questions, like about details, about things that allegedly happened to her, because Jaguar Wright apparently has always been under attack by somebody for some reason at every single point of her life since the age of like five or seven. And it's just been a nonstop barrage of just people coming for her one way or another physically mentally emotionally verbally spiritually someone is always attacking jaguar right allegedly so it's very important that nobody knows where she's staying right well i'm going to prove to you if you stay around until the end of this video i'm going to show you guys some documentation which is irrefutable proof that jaguar right is a liar I promise you, I will show you it, but click the thumbs up button, post a comment below with your opinion on what I'm saying so far, because it's about to get real nasty in here. Thumbs up, say hi, or say something in the comment section. Literally, you can say something. So she said that they live a couple of places. That's what she told Tasha K. 
Does that mean multiple residences? Then didn't she say that she was homeless? I could have sworn. Maybe I'm tripping. I could have sworn she said that she's homeless in this interview. Let me know in the comment section whether or not she said that. I just want to make sure I'm not, you know, in the twilight zone here. Tasha K asked where her husband, Gerald Johnson, was from. And he said Dallas, Texas. Now, remember, they're supposed to be hiding, you know, from whoever, whether it's Clive Davis, allegedly, or whoever. So hold on to that thought. He said that he's from Dallas, Texas. Also, when Tasha had basically asked, like, so, you know, like, where are y'all? Are y'all in Dallas, Texas? They basically alluded to them being in Texas, if not specifically in Dallas. She contradicted herself later on in the interview when she said that, you know, she's tired of hiding and she's willing to say where she is because they could come get her if they want to. So one minute she's like, oh, I can't say where I'm at. The next minute she's like, I'm in Dallas. The next minute she's like, yeah, uh, I don't want to say where I'm at or whatever. And then the next minute, she's like, look, y'all can come get me because I ain't never scared and started playing Bone Crusher in the back. OK, she didn't start playing. So you know what I mean? Now, she implied that she's in Dallas and you might be asking yourself, well, why is that important? Number one, if she's trying to hide out, it's not a good idea to say where you are. It's not a, not a good idea to reveal your location, the location of the bat cave. And she definitely looks like a bat. But here's the thing that makes things so much more interesting. She been revealed her location and I can prove it to you do y'all remember when she went off on Alicia Keys do y'all remember what she said in that Instagram live or Instagram TV video whatever that video was do y'all remember some of you were like oh yeah she said for Alicia Keys to get on an airplane come out to Texas so that and she said that she would wear like a sweatsuit or something like some workout clothes she said that she would give alicia keys a workout she would whoop her behind so remember she doesn't want you to know that she's in texas but she don ben said it anyway so this just goes to show you once again she's full of crap i'm going to show you the document that exposes where she's at in a minute but let me talk to y'all about money real quick again she goes you know you know, Tasha K was asking her about them being employed, what they do for a living and whatnot. Jaguar Wright goes, how am I supposed to get? Oh, oh, I forgot a part. Tasha K has said something about her having a lot of enemies. Jaguar Wright, trying to sound intelligent, said, how am I supposed to get rich without enemies? You don't get rich without enemies. You need enemies. They fuel the fire. They keep people talking about you. They work for you and don't even know it. Now, that sounds like an intelligent thing. It sounds like something I've said before in my videos, like the way that I get people to comment in my comment section is I say stuff to incite them purposely and that basically they're helping to promote me and whatnot. That's why I get people emotionally charged. But here's the thing, though. Now, you said that basically you're running for your life. Now, one minute you're scared and you're on the run. The next minute. You don't care. People know where you are. The next minute, hey, I got to hide out because there's people after me. In fact, they're coming to the door of the hotel, knocking on the door. They probably heard your voice, Tasha, and that's why they came to the door. They might be trying to harm me at any second. Oh, but by the way, <laughs> I want enemies because how am I supposed to get rich without them? It sounds like she basically snitched on herself. You're doing this to get enemies, and the end goal is for you to get money. I don't know how, but she basically told on herself when she said that the devil's in the details. You got to pay attention. Now, Tasha K kept asking her about money because Tasha K pays attention to the details. And she knows that Jaguar Wright's story is just not right. She knows that that woman is full of it. Jaguar Wright goes, let me explain how me and money work. I go to work at my job and then I get paid. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not what she said. That's not what she said. I'm sorry. She said, let me explain how me and money work. I make money. I put money in. The oh, I forgot to preface this. She was talking about her card declining. So to make it seem like she's not broke, she said, let me explain how me and money work. I make money. I put money in the pot and then money gets spent. And if I need money, I go and get money out the pot. But nothing that I earn, I keep. It goes to my family trust. Can once again. 
Let me explain how me and money work. I make money, I put money in the pot, and then money gets spent. And if I need money, I go and get money out of the pot. But nothing that I earn, I keep. It goes to my family trust. Can any of you put that gibberish in English for me, please? The fact that any of you are idiotic enough to hear her speak this foolishness, give her credit, give her her props, and basically not call her out on her foolishness, lets me know a lot about y'all. It lets me know that she probably reminds you of, of your mother. The woman is trash. She's a narcissist. She exhibits antisocial behavior. I don't trust her at all. She is the per if the purge was <laughs> if the purge was a person, it would be Jaguar right. Anyway, she said that her husband manages her pocket money. Why? Not because he's a financial advisor or anything like that. Not because he's an accountant. Remember, he's former military. He's some grunt, some dummy. Her husband manages her pocket money because he has the gun. I, I'm not making this up. That's what she said. He has the gun, therefore, he goes on to... Did he make her give him the money? Because this doesn't even sound right, allegedly. No, no, but seriously, nothing that she's saying makes sense. Click the thumbs up button. Tasha had to ask Jaguar all types of questions to get financial information out of her, including but not limited to asking if she's on, you know, disability. Long story short, Jaguar says she's trying to sell products, including her shea butter that's so good, is saving her hundreds of dollars a month that she doesn't have anyway. I mean, hundreds of dollars a month, I guess she would normally be spending on medications or whatever for like different reasons, like different ailments or whatever. So Tasha Kay asked whether or not Jaguar's husband, who was former military, gets money from being formerly enlisted, to which he said that he does. So why didn't they just say that from the beginning? That would have stopped Tasha from asking them for 5, 10, 12, however many minutes about this topic. They could have moved on if they would have just said, well, he was in the military and he gets a check. And, and you know what I'm saying? Just leave it at that. And you know what Jaguar said when after her husband said that he got paid for being in the military? She said he killed for it. He earned it. I'm not making this up. That's what this idiot said in her interview. He killed for it. He earned it. And that's your queen. Wow. Jaguar said music money is whack. You know, making money in the music industry or I guess as an independent musician as well. She said she could make more money on the street. Which just goes to show she doesn't know how to make money in music. <laughs> then Tasha K asked her how she makes money. Once again, Jaguar says she doesn't discuss that with anyone, despite the fact that she just did. Then she proceeds to show off her shea butter in a jar that she sells for different prices depending on the size. $20, $60, $80, and she claims that she sells it on Shopify, but she didn't say what her Shopify store or whatever was, so then that way people could go ahead and order them some. I was actually interested because it sounded pretty good. But anyways, things started to get even more interesting and more liary, or should I say more full of lies, as they talked about money and then talked about Jaguar's son, not the one that passed, but the one that's alive, that's 18. So Jaguar said that she lives off of gifts. Remember, she doesn't talk about how she makes her money, where she gets it from or anything. However, she said that she lives off of gifts. She accepts donations and gifts. There you go. So in other words, she gets money from people who are willing to give to her because they feel sorry for her or they want to invest in her or whatever. Right. She said that she hasn't had a job in years. Wow. Thank you for clarifying. Thank you for finally being honest. She also says that Tasha can tell the IRS that she accepts gifts. Are you sure you want somebody to tell them that? Are you perfectly sure, Jaguar? If you're as crazy as I think you are, maybe you don't care. Anyways, I went back to listen to the interview again. Some of it. Jaguar did, in fact, say that she's homeless because I wasn't sh perfectly sure. But yes, she said that she's homeless, but she tried to make it seem as if she was joking or exaggerating. But she did say that. It, now, that's very interesting. This is one of the most interesting things that she said. 
the admission that she was homeless. Because when Tasha asked Jaguar about her 18-year-old autistic son, she said he's a grown man that no one is raising. She claims that the young man is being held hostage by his father and grandmother. She says that the father was going to kick him out with nothing but the clothes on his back and disown him. However, they wouldn't let him come to Texas where he goes to school. I'm pretty sure she said that, you know, come to Texas where he goes to school and be with her. Now, hmm, cheddar cheese. You just revealed the secret location again, Jag liar. Because you once again said that you're in Texas. One minute you say that you're, you can't say where you are because you're hiding out. The next minute you're in Texas, by the way. It's like, hey, y'all, uh, you know, I can't really say where I'm at right now, Texas. I mean, nowhere. What a liar. Just extensive lies. Like, if you actually listen to what she's saying, it's ridiculous. To further complicate things, Jaguar says that the boy's grandmother said that he wasn't allowed to leave for a week. He wasn't allowed to go to his brother's funeral because they said that if he, excuse me, she filled me with gas because she's so full of crap and it just came out in a burp instead of a fart or a poop. But anyways, to further complicate things, Jaguar says that the boy's grandmother said he wasn't allowed to leave for a week. He wasn't allowed to go to his own brother's funeral, I assume was in Texas, because th allegedly the family was like, look, if you go over there with Jaguar, She's not going to send you back. However, he was allowed to come for Thanksgiving. So he can't go for the funeral because you'll keep him around. But if he goes for Thanksgiving, you'll send him back. Why? Is he going to eat you out of house and home? That 18-year-old boy is going to tear up that food. Think about it. It doesn't make any sense. Now, he can go over here to Texas for Thanksgiving, but not for the funeral. Because if he goes to the funeral, he'll be kept there. If he goes to Thanksgiving, then, oh, I know she'll send him back. Does any of that make sense? Anyway, Tasha K questioned her some more. Jaguar says that her son will always have a place to stay. And people usually seek refuge from her. A homeless woman. In other words, she'll let the boy get the big corner of the box. Just kidding. Poverty is not something that should be mocked. But come on now. You don't have a physical address. Yet he can come stay with you in space or wherever it is that you reside. And other people can come too considering the alleged fact that people come seek refuge from you. A woman without a place to stay. So these chicks really do think they're magic out here. She could just manifest a place with her mind I guess. I, 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 I don't know. I, I really don't get it. Maybe I'm the crazy one here. Not Jaguar but Mr. Mean Three and a Half. Click the thumbs up button and say hi. Say something in the comment section, but make sure you click that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Choose all notifications right now. And I'm going to wrap up this video. I'm going to do it for you right now, but you got to click thumbs up. So Jaguar said that she's in Texas. She was in Alabama. Sometimes she's in Louisiana, Oklahoma, and sometimes she has to go to California. So she named, what was that? One, two, three, four, five different states. Yeah, Texas, Alabama, Louisiana, Oklahoma, and California. Now, this is somebody who's supposed to be hiding, but yet she's telling where she goes. Once again, the chick is a liar, okay? She's hiding, but she's going to tell you where she is. Now, Jag claims, rather, on the run, Jag claims that her testimony, the stuff that she's been saying, I, I guess she was referring to the previous interviews that she did with Tasha K's protege, Storm Moreau. She said that her testimony has already been used as lit rather in litigation behind the scenes already. However, she can't say who. So according to her, there's some documents that exist, like some court filings or whatever some legal filings that are going against people i guess in the music industry based off of her testimony do y'all believe that foolishness or do you know like i know that she's full of crap to make things even more interesting she said that there were some people on some alicia keys troll pages that were, i guess were messing with her coming for her online trying to start some mess and she said that she knows those people's ip addresses or internet protocol which is most definitely a lie. 
She was definitely lying about that. That's something that, see, like really stupid hood people who don't know anything at all whatsoever about like IT information technology, about computers and stuff like that. These people will mix up software with hardware. But yet they'll sit up there and say things like, yeah, I know your IP address. I could track you down. They don't know what they're talking about. Okay. A lot of these like hood celebrities say crap like that. It's just made up. They're just talking. Three things. Number one, somebody, I, I guess, came to the hotel door where she's at. And Jaguar Wright said that the person was possibly a spy and heard Tasha K's voice through the door. Like, I guess out of her phone, laptop, however she was communicating with Tasha K with, out through the door. And that's what prompted the person to come to the door. Now, does that make any sense? Like, spies are lurking. And how they end up finding her is via Tasha K's voice. I mean, that's so idiotic, weird, and just dumb. But when you're dealing with a crazy person who's also evil, that makes perfect sense to them. And they also assume it should make perfect sense to you. Number two thing, Jaguar is what Tasha K's haters think about her. You know, like when people say, you know, Tasha K is evil. Uh, she sold her soul. She's in the Illuminati. I'm not saying the Jaguars in the Illuminati, but you know what I mean? Like Jaguar is the type of person who in my, this is my personal opinion. I think she allegedly is evil, but there's different brands of evil there's different species of evil you know what i mean and in my opinion your girl jaguar jaguar wrong as i like to call her as opposed to jaguar right in my opinion she's some sort of form of evil but remember that's all my opinion now i went and looked up some information and this is what i found jaguar right has a company an llc named Deladelphia Productions LLC or Limited Liability Company. It is registered in the state of Texas. And I made sure to cross out the addresses that are on here, but I can show you the other information. Deladelphia Productions has been around since September 7th of 2018, two years and one month. Legal Link Corporate Services Incorporated are the people from Frisco, Texas that registered it. That's the registering agent or registered agent, excuse me. Now the managing member is Jacqueline Wright. So that's Jaguar Wright. And I, I can't show you, show you guys the address, but yes, according to the documentation, she's in Texas. So yes, she has a corporation that's registered in her name is not you know registered under somebody else's name. It says managing member and it only mentions her. That's it. So I guess this is supposed to be the business that she runs with her husband and the paperwork was filed four months before they started dating, before they met and moved in with each other within three days, married in three weeks, <laughs> moved in with each other in three days. Rather, he moved in with her to be specific within three days and then they got married in 21 days. Like, wh who does that? Anyways, wh whatever, wh whatever. Anyways, let me know what y'all think about it below. Thumbs up the video, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, choose all notifications to let me know you listened all the way into the end of the video. The secret password to say in the comment section is big liar. Now you got paperwork out there that has an address on it. If somebody was coming to look for you, you done said where you are and you be going here and there and everywhere. So if anybody's looking for you, you done told them all, all the places that you go. Oh, I go to this state and I go to that state. I, I'm over there in, in Texas. I'm in Louisiana. I'm in Oklahoma. I'm in California and Alabama, too. So you don't let the cat out the bag. But anyway, this is all my opinion. I think she's a big fraud and a big liar. But let me know what y'all think about your girl Jaguar wrong in the comment section. All right, y'all MAGA.